Hey guys, so let the moving commence. Ooh. He's putting together boxes to start throwing stuff in. Dan has done pretty much like most of, sorry, my mom's just texting me, most of the moving stuff. I'm third shake in for my cleanse today. I've got to do five and I had some vegetables earlier, like some guac and some salsa with like these non-GMO chia corn chips. Anyways, this is my little outfit. I'm heading to, ooh, I'm heading to the rehearsal dinner right now, although not a dinner for me. I'm just gonna drink the shake. I love you, Dan. Love I'll see you, you soon. Okay, see ya. See ya. Okay, so I'm gonna go now, but I'll see you at the rehearsal dinner very soon. <laughs> I was just informed that I make the cutest little video. <laughs> Thank you, I'll take it, Julie. So we're at the church where Kimmy is getting married tomorrow. And we're look about to do our rehearsal and, and look at this sign. Sure Isn't this just so but look down here? Oh my god, that's me! And look at I'm officially under Nicole because that's what Kimmy knows me as. <laughs> no one like in real life other than Dan and occasionally my family, but really Dan, called me Nikki before YouTube. I was Nicole. So I'm Nicole on here and I wanna call this really cute, but cute's not the right word because I couldn't do that. It's like really beautiful. Like our handwriting is really pretty. So yeah, we're at the Valencia Hills Community Church, I believe. And we're gonna do our rehearsal and then the rehearsal dinner. And it's very exciting. And side note, I'm really glad it wasn't a caterpillar that was on your back. Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, a little bit ago. Yeah, no. One of the girls started blowing on her back, and I thought she was blowing on a caterpillar. So <laughs> thank God that wasn't what was going on. I was like, wow, what a strange approach, Becky. She was like, oh, hold on. Anyways, there she comes. Here's the church. We've got our lovely musicians on stage. It does smell like fresh paint, huh? So, all right, I'm gonna go now, but I'll just bring you guys out again at some point. Okay. Caravans, you tend to want to get down there and get it done, right? So we kind of want to walk fast. This is not the time to do that. You're just gonna walk and you're going to, I mean, you don't have to do this. You don't have to do that, because some people do that too. Don't do that. You just walk, but walk slow, slow it down and, and walk casually together. You're gonna start us off, young man, so. That's, that's you. you. Kimmy's brother, Sam, he started it off. Sam and me, I'm paired with Sam, sorry. Okay, once, we, once you get up, you need to go to, you're gonna get up to the front. Uh -huh. You're going to, the young lady is going to go to the far end. Okay. The gentleman's gonna go to the far end. <laughs> Did you guys hear that? I want to see his sign. Over here, it says Uncle Louie, here comes your bride. I want to see Connor. <laughs> okay, you couldn't see it, but I read it to you. It's like the same thing. <laughs> so cute. And then, uh, <laughs> then basically, you've chosen to write your own vows. Oh, that's just too cute. I love it. So pretty. A pretty bouquet for a pretty bride. Oh, jeez, man. Stop. Don't stop. <laughs> it's true. Alright, well, I was a useless vlogger. I didn't get any footage of the beautiful like uh, rehearsal dinner that we just did because I was very busy in conversation with everyone. But, hold on, we're going to try to interrupt this conversation really quick. Quick question. How excited are you to get married tomorrow morning on a scale of 1 to 10? Um, anxiety level or excited level? Excited level. <laughs> 10. 10. Anxiety level? Close to that. <laughs> That's good. That's a normal answer. And how excited is everyone else to be in the wedding? So excited. So excited. It's very exciting. So I didn't get any footage of the dinner. I was like, it's so lame. I just got like post dinner when everything was torn down. So lame. But it was really beautiful and you missed it. We're and super, super excited. Super excited. So we'll see you all bright and early, 9 a.m. 9 a.m. Luke takes a hair. Fried coffee. Yes. Starbucks. <laughs> okay. <coffee>. Okay. <laughs> we'll see you later. Bowser, what day is it? Zoe, what day is it? Chad, what day is it? It's moving day. Bowser just farted again. He did. I'm gonna leave <laughs> oh the room. My God. Okay. So the whole house is in upheaval oh. because it is moving day. <laughs> Bowser apparently just keeps farting, and I still haven't smelled any of them when this happens, but there's Marlene. 
working away, helping us move, just being such an amazing sister-in-law. You're like, I know, what can I say? I almost died taking the curtains off the window, but <laughs> I survived just in time to get the vlog camera. So yeah, we're packing things up. Marlene and I did the whole bathroom, um, all this. The boys have been taking all the big furniture stuff down, like the couch, they're taking the bed down, they're taking boxes down, because we're not carrying all that. But Marlene and I are like transferring things into boxes. We hadn't done anything until this morning and it took every ounce of energy for me to get out of bed after the wedding. But now we pretty much have this room and the kitchen left to do. And yeah, I don't know. I think we'll probably start heading down there. Like I have a feeling the truck will probably be packed and ready to go by. What's your bet? Do you have a bet on time? It's 12:10 right now. When do you think everything will be fully packed? Six o'clock. You think six? Because we're gonna eat. Oh, uh, you know what? I feel like I can't guess the same time as you because I feel like that's cheating. But that's kind of what I think too. <laughs> you're when such a I know you're such I was gonna guess five, but you're right because of food. What's that? Oh, they're just moving. I'm gonna guess. Well, I think the truck will be fully packed by like 435. But yeah, I think we'll head down there around six. Yeah. So we'll see if we're right. Um okay, so I'm gonna go now and actually help rather than just vlog. And we will update you later. Okay guys, it's a mess in here. I had to show you. We found these old uh, VHS tapes. Trash or? For you to pick through. And then? And then probably give away that, that other bag. So these are old like performances. So I want to have them transferred digitally to be able to show you guys. But then, oh, I'm in a box right now. We found this old photo album, which once again, I'm not going to go through them all because we're actually trying to hurry. But I wanted to show you some of these pictures really quick because they're really funny. That's me on the slide. Hey, that's little Nikki. Where else am I? Oh, that's me right there. I guess I'm grabbing my crotch for some reason. Marlene, look. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing, but I still kind of smile the same. Oh, that's me looking so confused as to why that guy has his arm around me. Look, I look so like, um, all right. Let's see if there's any other entertaining ones. Oh, it's my dad, but his eyes are closed. Not sure why you would print a picture like that. But there I am petting a bunny. I'm gonna say hanging this upside is down. Trash. Yeah, that's trash. Okay, I gotta go because we're really trying to hurry. But I just wanted to update you guys. All right, the office is clear, pretty much. Yay! Actually, Troy just arrived. He's not up here. He's with the boys taking stuff down. So that was nice to have another reinforcement. I didn't want to take people up on moving, and I don't know why it always makes me feel bad. But now that the day is here, I'm like, I really wish I had taken other people up on this. So. This is the bedroom right now, bathroom. That closet hasn't even really been touched. Cupboards are being cleared out. Yeah, this still got a ways. And then the dogs are very confused still. Living room. And we're gonna try to move pretty fast. Cause we don't want this to go away. There he is. Hi, Troy. Hey. <laughs> you brought your muscles to help? Of course, they never leave you. They never leave you, okay. Well, we'll see you later. Oh my goodness. So everyone is beyond pooped, right? Marlene, it did look pretty funny though, because when I said, oh my goodness, like right at the at that time, you're like this. <laughs> you, look, you look like a little model. <sighs> and we've revamped the plan, so this is what's going on. We're leaving like all of the kitchen, pretty much everything up here. Yeah, he's gotta go to work in the morning. So, and we have to be down there before six, which is gonna happen, but we have to get the keys. So we're about to leave the house, but Dan's gonna come back tomorrow to get everything else because there's just too much crap. So we're gonna go now. See you down there. Wave bye, guys. Bye. <laughs> See ya. All right, so we're at the apartment. Yay! But um, much easier to bring stuff in here because at our apartment we were on the third floor and here we are not, we're on the first floor. So it's much easier to bring stuff in, but I forgot my little shake. Here? and I'm gonna walk out. Um, I forgot my little shake, and they're ordering pizza, and I can't have any, and we're finally in. It does suck for me, Marlene. And then, I went to drink the water from our fridge, because this is kinda cool. We finally have like an ice machine, and a, like, it puts water out of there or whatever. But I don't know if the filter just needs to be run more or what, but I almost threw up. And it was cloudy, and it tasted like fish, and it was goopy, and it was gross. So, we don't have a couch. We won't have a couch for like two weeks, because we had our couch 
made for us and it won't be ready for a couple weeks. So yeah, we're just bringing everything in. They're ordering dinner and I'm so tired. My eyeballs are ready to fall out of my brain. Okay. Do you guys want to move Oh, so things got a little intense because I am not sure if it's the water from the fridge or the exhaustion of being on a cleanse and this long weekend, but I just threw up, so that sucked. And then on top of that, after I threw up, then I got peed on by Zoe. So I threw up and got peed on in the last 40 minutes. So it was a good... And within five minutes of being here, uh, Bowser took, took the biggest dump I've ever seen, aside from my biggest dump. Stop! On the carpet. Ew, babe. So. <laughs> Ew. Chad, it was pretty gross. So it's been interesting. So we're gonna head back to Santa Clarita here in a couple minutes. They're just bringing in one more box and we're gonna drop them off. And I, no, we're gonna keep it. We're gonna replay it. And then I'm gonna get something to eat. Um, not big because I've been on this cleanse, but I think I'm, I'm supposed to break it tomorrow, but I technically had oatmeal this morning and I need some food. I'm like so hungry and tired. And I didn't bring the protein powder here, so I wasn't even able to eat here, which really sucked. So, all right, we're gonna be leaving here in a minute. And we're bringing the dogs with us because we don't want to leave them alone. So, here's the home we don't throw up again. All right, guys, so it is Monday and it is like 11.30, I want to say. What time is it? Let's see. It's 11.45 and everything is a freaking mess, man. Look at everywhere. But I will say that I have like half of my closet put up in here. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness. The bathroom has way less storage than our other bathroom, like that's it. So I'm actually gonna be, we're going back up to Valencia in a little bit because I have a doctor's appointment up there and Dan has to bring back more stuff. So I think I'm gonna get like an over the toilet like storage thing because this is just empty and that would be good for more space. Um, and I actually need to get like a new shower plastic thing. I don't, I actually have a whole list of things that I need to get while I'm out there. I'm gonna go to Target while he's reloading up the truck. But um, yeah, it's chaos. And then in the other room, which is gonna be like the office room, Dan's actually gonna keep his um, simulator out in the bedroom now because this bedroom is so much bigger that we have room for him to just keep it out right there. So the other room is gonna be like an office storage area. So like rather than keeping products in my closet like I did in the old apartment, I'm gonna keep a bookshelf and I'm gonna store them out so I can really see them, see what I'm using, see what I don't use. No like for giveaways, to give to friends, all that stuff. So um, I gotta get a bookshelf too, but I don't know if I'm gonna get that today. Maybe, I'm not sure. But anyways, as I was saying, in the other room, we actually have the Time Warner cable guy over right now setting up the internet and the television. Um, he was like perfectly on time, side note, but he's setting up the internet back there. Uh, our apartment randomly came with a TV already in the wall. It's kind of cool. It's actually like a smart unit. So I guess we're gonna be able to download an app that will hook up to our apartment so that we can like adjust the air or the lights or whatever. Um, but the TV came hooked in. So we actually have to have that taken out of the wall because we want our TV right there. It seems like, has everything been blurry the entire time? I think everything has been blurry the entire time. Hopefully not, because I had a lot of important stuff to say, guys. So, kitchen's a mess. Um, we didn't bring over any kitchen stuff, any food, nothing yet. So, I think once he's done, we're actually, oh, I gotta put this stuff away. We're, um, then we're gonna head back up to Valencia because it's about time. And yeah, I'm really glad I'm not sick anymore. I still don't feel amazing. Like I, to be honest, feel completely exhausted from head to toe. But like last night I told you I was like throwing up. I haven't thrown up today. Tiny bit nauseous, but I'm not bad. So that's good. Um, and I'm easing out of this cleanse now and back on to regular food. I still can't do things like soy and wheat and all that. But um, yeah, I think I'm actually gonna go to Life Kitchen when we're up in Valencia and get a salad up there because that sounds amazing. They make really good salads. And yeah, dance party in my new apartment. Down Bowser, down. Okay, I feel like I'm having blurry camera, camera issues again, but hi. So Dan just left, it's like nine o'clock-ish at night. Um, what time is it? Oh my God, it's exactly nine o'clock. 
Um, so we got pretty much everything over. The only stuff that's left at the apartment are a lot of the, what is happening on the CW? I haven't watched this channel in a long time. Um, all the stuff that he can bring back in the Yaris. So he's going back to drop off the U-Haul and then driving back here. And then tomorrow he's going to Santa Clarita before I do because he's gonna go paint and clean up and load the rest of the stuff in the Yaris. And then I'm meeting him down there and we're going to Young Married's. It's like a Young Married's group at our church, but my parents run it at their house. Um, and then we come back. But I'm pretty much, I'm trying to eat right now because I know I've been on this cleanse and it seems like I haven't been eating enough, but I actually have been eating enough calories in the cleanse. But today was actually the first day where I'm like, dude, I didn't eat enough because I didn't get enough shakes. I had a salad at lunch, but it was a salad. And yeah, so, but now I don't really know what else to eat. Well, I do know, I've made my solution. I went to Whole Foods and I got a couple little like random things because I thought we were gonna bring over all our groceries. We weren't, so good thing I went to Whole, or we didn't, so good thing I didn't go to Whole, I did go to Whole Foods, I'm tired. I got this Greek yogurt, some honey, this granola, and some strawberries, so I just made like my own little parfait, which I have wanted to make one since I got back from the tone it up thing. Um, so I'm glad that I did. So I'm gonna eat this, and then I'm gonna keep putting stuff away, start some laundry, I'm gonna wait up for Dan, and then when Dan gets back, is probably when we'll like wrap up with all the work because he's wiped, I'm wiped. And then, yeah, we're gonna take a shower, hang out, watch some Apple TV, fall asleep, let ourselves sleep because tomorrow's gonna be a lot of hard work again too. Um, so yeah, but I'm excited. I'm starting to feel like, cause the last 24 hours, I wasn't feeling that feeling of excitement really anymore. I was kind of like, like crap this sucks I'm so tired and like you know like when you go to a hotel too like nothing feels like home at first it's kind of like I want to go home but like we're starting to put stuff away and I'm like okay all right this is cool and like we're just hitting the beginning so I'm really excited for this week to do this and then go to San Diego this weekend with Michaela I'm I'm gonna go eat though now I'll just wait I'll probably say I'm gonna go eat now and then I'm like I just uh eh. I'm gonna situate myself on my one little chair because like I said, we don't have a couch yet and we probably won't for another two weeks um, because we ordered it custom made, uh, which is something that I totally never thought I would do. So that was exciting. I think it's gonna be really cute. And yeah, that's it. I'm gonna go now. Say bye, Zoe. They're finally calming down. They have been freaking out like the entire time. But they're finally coming down. Bowser is, however, waiting at the door for Dan to get back, but he used to do that at the other apartment too. So, all right, see ya.